Hey guys. Hey, what you're looking at here is my third of MPX, MCX, short barrel, long barrel, SIG, Sauer, 0.177 CO2 rifles. And they say they're basically a authentic reproduction. And they're close. They really are a cool gun. They look cool. They feel good. They look like the real thing for as far as I'm concerned. But if you're thinking of shooting one of these things, so far I'm on number three. And all three of them have failed within two to three hundred rounds, maybe four at the best. I did send my first one back. Uh, two SIG is all. They're all under warranty. Send them back. And after six weeks of waiting, I'd only had the gun for two weeks. Six weeks more I waited. I got a letter back saying, oh, unrepairable sent me another gun which you're looking at this is an mcx and uh i had an mpx well they didn't have any so they sent me a upgrade i guess but it failed too i shot it maybe three four hundred rounds and failed again so i bought another one an mpx again but thinking i could maybe take it apart and figure out what's going on have a good one and a bad one <laughs> to something to compare to but so far i haven't come up with any answers so i'm kind of looking for somebody out there that's having the same problem and uh i've written talked to uh communicated with back and forth with sig there's no parts available they won't sell you a part they won't give you a part there's no parts list there's no schematic there's nothing they'll all oh, just send it back to us and we'll warrant it for six to eight weeks before you might get one back trouble is they're they're not fixing them. They they'll send you another gun that breaks in a matter of just a couple hundred rounds. So I took this apart, and this is the same problem. And I've seen other you guys out there doing the same thing. Same problem's been going on since I think these guns came out somewhere. I didn't know 2016 maybe. Here we are. What 2021? I just got this one here a short time ago, a couple months back, doing the same damn thing. And I've taken this one apart already, and I've pulled the screws out of it. And we'll set this back up so it kind of sits here on its own. All right, so there you see the in the guts of this thing. And here's the most of this is pretty simple if you really look at it. But here's the problem: you take this little guy out here, throw that son of a gun over there. Here's the problem right here. Okay. See this little thing right here? This is, I guess you'd call this your slide, or your bolt, or your hammer, or whatever. And this is the same problem everybody's been having since day one. Down inside this little guy right here, it's that little black dot. That falls out. It's a hardened pin. It's supposed to hit the little plunger that's inside of here. So, most of you have glued it back in. It stayed there. Well, I did that as well. Mine fell out. Now, the second thing I found out, the seal in this little guy here doesn't seal anymore. It decides to do something else. I've had it apart. I've looked at it. I cannot fathom the, the idea of what the hell is wrong with it. I don't see anything wrong with it. This thing's easy to take apart. See that little pin right there? Okay. Okay, that goes inside here and releases the air. Comes in here, blows out there. Pretty damn simple. That pin, that falls out first. Now, after screwing around with this thing a dozen times, now I've had this apart and looked at it and tried to figure out why it's not sealing. I've looked at the seal, the gasket, everything, and it doesn't seal. So I worked on that a little bit, looking at it, thinking maybe it might be a little rough, and I smoothed it out just a little bit with some some uh, 400 sandpaper wet and dry smoothed it all out put it all back together now it seals but it doesn't recoil it fires once and then it doesn't recoil that's what my problem is right now but i guess the big thing is that my gripe about this whole thing is why in the hell sig has done nothing about this as far as i know not till right to, as this video is being probably produced i haven't seen anything that's new from sig to fix this problem there's no parts there's no communications they just sell you another gun or they give you parts pieces so if anybody's out there that 
basically knows what's going on with these guys uh, or how to fix this we need to get parts we need some, some kind of replacement parts for this this is a joke this is a complete joke that SIG won't even give you replacement parts there's no o-rings there's no gaskets there's no seals nothing and this gun could be rebuilt they're saying 15,000 shots bullshit I'm getting 200 to 300 I'm on my third gun I guess that's my fault I'm on my third gun and I can't figure out what the problem is why are they keep doing the same thing and the same problem keeps happening this falls out first this little pin inside falls out first you got to glue that back together then if you have another problem you might be lucky enough to get it to go but this doesn't work now on mine it doesn't seal I got it to seal now it doesn't recoil so if any of you guys out there give me some comments on this and uh, I'll tell you what, we need to raise some hell with SIG because I carry a 220 SIG. That's my personal firearm, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> I shoot with it a lot. Problem is, now I'm beginning, if I trust it, why put your name on something that you build a good pistol and build a piece of shit like this? I don't know where this comes from. I think it comes out of Japan, but you know what? Somebody needs to do something about this, and I'm talking to SIG personally about this. SIG, get off your ass and fix this. Anyway, thanks for listening. If you got any comments, let me know.